back. Hi. DJ Nibis. And DJ Neko. On the Metal Tie Radio Podcast, doing another trailer reaction. This time for Don't Worry Darling. I think someone recommended it. We, uh, it was Derek. Derek, yeah. So we really didn't um, know anything about this movie, and Derek really recommended to see the trailer. I don't know if it's out yet or not. It's supposed to come out this year, but... Basically, all we know is the little blurb that it's a 1950s housewife living with her husband in a utopian community, and then it's supposed to be a psychological thriller, and her world starts falling apart. That's all we know. But we also know that it's directed by Olivia Wilde. Um, yes, Florence Pugh, who's a very great actress. We like a lot of her work. And Olivia Wilde's in it, and so is Harry, Harry Styles. Styles. Your boy. So well, I'm just wondering, I don't know if he has any acting chops. Uh, is he? Has he been in anything else? I want to say see. he was in that war movie. And I just can't remember the name of it at the uh, top of my head. Let me take up. Oh, he's with Olivia Wilde. That's why he, why he's in this. Oh, he's dating her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So benefits. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me look at his Wikipedia about his um about his filmography. Um, he was in the One Direction, This Is Us movie, a bunch of One Directions, Harry Style behind the album, nope. Dunkirk, there it is. Dunkirk, that's it. And he was in The Eternals. Um, oh, I didn't catch him in that. Like, he, it says cameo, mid credit scene. Oh, okay. And then in um, this year, he did Don't Worry, Darling and um, My Policeman. Okay. So, so Dunkirk's really the, the biggest thing he's done since now, so. Mm -hmm. And that was in 2017. So it's good to see Mr. Styles flexing his acting chops. So this will be interesting. Yep. So here we go. Uh, don't worry, darling. I have it. I have it. I have it. Focus right here. Have a little drink. All of you wives, we men, we ask a lot. We ask for strength, food at home, a house clean, and discretion above all else. Boys and their toys, at least we know they're getting work done. Welcome to the Victory Project. We're all here because we believe in the mission. What are we doing? Changing, Changing the, world. the world. What are we doing? Changing, Changing the, the world. world. That's right. What do you think they're really doing out there? What do you mean? The one thing they ask of us is to stay here. Where it's safe. Do you even know what the Victory Project actually is? Have you ever asked? Do you? Please. What's actually happening? Stop it, Alice. What if this place is dangerous? What if Stop it! No. Jack. It's okay. I'm curious to hear where she's going with this. I need you to listen to me. They're lying about everything. We are not going backwards. We're pushing forward. Everyone is acting like I'm crazy. And I'm not crazy. Our life together. We could lose this. And I don't want to be here anymore. I'm interested. It does look interesting. I mean, I'm starting to wonder. I was trying as I'm looking at. I'm like, either okay, either are we dealing with like 
UFO type stuff, paranormal, or are we dealing with like remember the atomic bomb? Uh, is it something they're dealing with some of that? Or are we dealing with something more like the village where they've got them so separated from everything because quote unquote it's not safe, but then right. they're trying to keep this perfect utopian nineteen fifties like lifestyle up, but now these women who have been brought in there don't know anything else except for what they have in front of their faces and now they, you know, somebody's getting curious. I don't know. It could be a little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, I mean, or it could be like like what they're saying, like it really is dangerous out there. And uh, they're living like underground in some kind of, you know, utopian bunker that was created. And they're just trying to keep everyone in the dark because if you, because you saw she climbed up to that thing and looked out the bubble and was, right. yeah, like she could be like, there's nothing out there. Like, it, and then like, you know, that's a great point about the village. Cause like, she's, it looks like at one point she's in a car racing out of the desert and they're chasing her. So they're like trying to either. Or almost kind of like the Truman show where you're, you're trapped right. inside of something and you can never uh, escape it. Uh, it also looks like it has a lot of, uh, it's not, it kind of just from the trailer kind of took me out of garlic, but some of the sexual stuff going on in it, like they were really <laughs> going to town there <laughs> on the tables. So I'm like, wow, that, that, that's pretty hot. You know, that's got a good thing going on there. But like, what's the parallel with that between what else is going on with the, uh, the movie itself? So I guess keep your woman satisfied so she doesn't bitch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Like, try to keep her extremely happy so she's not asking any questions uh but yeah good recommendation derek mm -hmm. uh i'm looking forward to that it says looks like it's august 22nd it's coming uh, september. out september september yeah. yeah so hopefully I'm, I'm i can catch it before i leave if, you know so. yep all right well thank you all again for checking out this trailer reaction and we'll be back with another thank you thank you <laughs>